We're working somewhat live, and I can kind of see. Yep, I can kind of see everything that's on the screen here. We got two different tasks. Number one, we have two working iPod. Well, we have one working iPod like this. We know this one works, but it's got an issue. Um, it's a legacy thing. And we are not using a mic. Our objective here is to tear down this one. This is going to be our stripper. See how my hands are looking over there? Hands are looking good. The very, very end, it's going to have a gold back and a new black face. But this is probably days away. Got my old. Oh, I don't even need a mic because I can't use a mic. There we go. Just get in here. I don't think this is supposed to be on mute anymore. Nope, that one's not on mute. There we go. Let's see what we got here. I've got some old fashioned batteries. Some old fashioned. These are not batteries, these are screwdrivers. This guy here is already open. And we don't want. So, what I'm going to end up doing is putting this to the side just so that we can go in there and rip through this here. I don't know how this is supposed to be taken off so that I can do the exact same thing here. So, this is basically our experiment. So let's get in here and see where the heck these screws are. First, this tape here. Get rid of that tape. I think there's some screws under here. It may look like I'm, I know what I'm doing, but I have almost no idea on what I'm doing. Just know that what I am doing is very, very possible. Oh, it looks like my head is completely in the way. That's okay. We just kind of get through here. And got that off. Should have some tweezer things around there somewhere. So tweezer thingies. Ah, there we go. Got these little guys here. I should be able to just reach in there and, nope, can't get that out. Oh, got it. So what's in here? We already got something in there. Just move it out of the way right there. And we'll just move this guy right here. Over to there. So we at least got one piece off. What is this here? So another attachment over there. Is this small enough? What does it say? It says P200. Can you get something smaller than that? What is this here? That is, this one's bigger. We dropped that one. What about this one? So here is PH00. This one's still small. Okay. We'll keep what we got. We're not changing. And there's the other one right there. And hopefully you can actually see inside of this thing here. God, these are the smallest screws I've ever had to deal with. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. These things are like really small. That is a... Wow, and they actually got nylon on there. That's tiny. So we got one side off. Got a little bit of tape over here. trying to do is not mess this up that is not gonna hold okay it looks more double-sided tape over here 
Oh, there's another screw. I see it. It's another little black screw right here. This is an old Radio Shack um, screwdriver set. There we go. Cut that off. I think that's the... Yep, that was the only thing holding the headphones together. The headphone setup. And that's just these three screws. There we go. So now I just have to pull this tape up. Now the reason I'm doing this recording is... It really helps to see exactly what the heck I did to get in here. So that is really not that bad. That wasn't bad at all. Um, what about this here? I've never seen anything like this before. Did it flip up? Looks like, oh man, this is a great way to mess up something. And did we rip it? I think we did rip it. Ah, I see it now. It's supposed to flip up right here, and then you just lift up. I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So I know that for next time. And I know this one right here is a flipper as well. So we finally got this hair off, and that's a good thing. Uh, I know this is a flipper right here because I can kind of see it. Oh, screw that for now. Ah, oh, man, that is a pain. I just, I, I don't, I don't get this in there, but I do know I have one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the sides. This whole thing sits on a on a mid frame. This is what's unique about the 5.0 and above. Another unique feature is all of these guys tend to share almost all of the same screws throughout the device, which is really nice. There's only one of them that's a different color. I'm trying to see exactly what we got over there. Yep, that still looks good. And the reason for another reason for doing this video is oh it feels loose. Uh, is that loose already? Yep, it's oh that's already loose. I like that. I like that a whole lot. Cause all I want to do is transfer the back and the front. But before I do that, I need to mess around with this $20. Um, experiment, tear down, so that I don't screw up something like I kind of did a little bit just a moment ago. That was pretty, it's pretty messy. Yeah, I kind of shipped this one here. Not in a good way. Ah, glasses time. Let's see if we can get this thing off now. Oh, oh, that was easy. So there's a little, there we go. So my idea is I am going to just replace this part and the back. And, oh, man, I might be able to do that, like, right now. Ah, uh, I can do part of it. Uh, I am so tempted. I am so very tempted. So very tempted. This is all I need to do to tear this guy down, the other guy down and get in there and make those changes. Very, very tempted. And we're not gonna change this circle. We're gonna keep the circle that's on here. It's got a little texture. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. It's got a little texture. We're not gonna worry about it too much, only because, like I said, this one here is fully functional. Yeah. backwards and we just drop down here to settings there we go and yeah this guy here is fully functional belt 
And it says use the iPod. Oh, really? You say use the iPod? Seriously. That should have been fixed. Uh-oh. Did we lose our... I gotta put the password back here. Give me a moment. Wake up! There we go. Yo, what is up, Ryan? I got a purple junk feel. I got a purple drink feel with a whole bunch of junk here. Blueberries, cherries, lemon. I am trying my best to get into this device here and not tear it up. And it looks like I was able to get down to the subframe. And these are, oh, that is so disgusting on the inside. Okay, that is this, that is disgusting. That is a little bit on the disgusting side there. This could be water damage. And then look at these edges. I don't think that's dust. I should be using gloves. This is very gross. But yeah, this is, this is kind of my goal for tonight was to get down to the subframe. Um, this is the functional one. This is the not so functional one here i never could figure out why this one died or would not connect so i've been playing metal storm um religiously and we're now getting to the part where um i just gotta get back onto the ipod thing and make this guy work again So you want it to work the way I want it to work. Just gonna throw this to the side. I don't really need that one anymore. That is too much light in this room. I can see too much light in this room. Don't fight me, machine. There we go. So this is still functional. Yep. I think it should still be functional. Yep, it is still functional. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally cut any cables that I cannot replace easily. And at this point, nothing can be replaced easily. Okay, that's it right there. Gonna move this guy here to the side. We don't really need that anymore. We're gonna close this here because these are the screws that were in the previous machine. And uh, where are we? Oh, there it is right there. Move those glasses one more time and just prick this guy here. There it is right there. You see that? See that little thing right there? Little brown guy. I'm gonna just prick that real quick. Come on. Other way. One, two, and click. I got you. And lift that. And don't yank too hard. And we're gonna come over here and we have this monstrosity. <sighs> okay, it's the battery that we no longer need. This is the battery that we absolutely need. Right, if you're still there, it's gonna be the gold back. And it's gonna end up going in here somehow. This is all the good stuff. Da -da. I don't want to screw this up, but we're going to give it a shot. Just got to remember which way it flips. Flip up. Just a little tug. And gotcha. Hard drive is out and safe. Yay! The next thing is going to be this little flipper right here. Bingo. So we learned from the other video or the other device just a moment ago. And that was actually the hard part. And now, now that we've learned what not to do, we can just come over here 
and we're just gonna unscrew this here. This should be easy as pie. There's no way we can screw this up. No way that we can screw this up here. This should be easy as pie. It should be like a, a steak from Quincy's. If you haven't been to Quincy's before, it's a place um, in Alabama and they, they're, they're out of business now. They used to have a thing called the no mistake steak. And if they messed up your steak, they would um, replace it immediately. Now everybody does that. If you mess up their steak, they'll replace it immediately with another one. But back in the day, that was that was a thing. I think I got him. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, got him. All right, so we don't want to do this too often. But this is one of those things where if we do this right the first time, we won't have to do this again. There we go. We have three down and three more to go. That still looks good. And... You know what I want to probably end up doing? Just to be on the safe side. Because <sighs> I don't want to accidentally fry. Because I'm just touching the crap out of the electronics. And I don't want to be the idiot to fry it. Because I am sitting on wall-to-wall uh, -wall carpet. That is a danger zone. There we go. We got you. We got you. Oh, you see, I see. I think I see green on top of the nylon. That's weird. Like, I think this might have had water damage, which would explain why it did not work properly. Oh, no, no. This is the good one. What, what am I saying? This is the good one. So if any water damage is on this here, it's probably like sweat. Somebody got all nasty in and was working out at the gym too hard. That's so gross. I got you. There we go. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And yeah, that should. That should have done it, but it looks like we got a couple of prongs to pop here. Come on, buddy. I just need you to let go. Oh, just push a little harder, Carlton. There you go. And that is off. So as far as I know, there is no adhesive or anything on the inside or sealant. I like that. And, man, that, that screen looks perfect. Yet, yeah, this one doesn't have all that extra gunk. So, I'm thinking that was probably, the other one was probably water damage. So, we're going to keep the circle. And we're going to put... This new circle in. So, they get a new circle. Quick will, as they call it. I uh, just got back from Alabama. Ha <laughs> So the two hour thing, man, I'm telling you, um, I've done it many, many times because I used to go to school in Atlanta and I would have to go back because I forgot some supplies or whatever. And I would have to run back and forth, back and forth over and over and over again. Um, that was a pain. Oh, you know what? I don't think these circles are the same size. You know what? That's fine. I'll keep my, my old one. Oh, no. You know what I think? Yeah, shooting shooting down I-20 is... It can be fun. There's some really uh, good parts. Chilla Vista. Douglasville, there are some good parts. 
um, Brompton. I think that's, I think that's one, of, one of the places too, Brompton. But if you're over in um, Birmingham, over there by, what's that dude? What's that dude? What's the new guy? What is his name? Bochi? Hang on, hang on. Bosies, not Bosies. Um, oh, man, what is that guy? That, um, the squirrel. What's the squirrel name? It's over in Leeds, over by the Motorcycle Museum. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Have you been to Barber's Motorcycle Museum yet, Ryan? That's what I'm talking about, dude. That place is so raw. That place, did you, okay. I'm hoping you were at the top where all the motorcycle, all the good motorcycles are and you work your way down the circle, going all the way down. They got a weird thing with Lotus. So you get some Lotus cars too. But yeah, I went there and I shot like 600 photos, I believe. It was something maddening. And I enjoyed the heck out of it. Just enjoyed the absolute heck out of it. It was absolutely the funnest thing I had ever done. Oh, this is the black thing. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, so... I have to go in there and take this off. This is the black thing. Gotcha. And this stays on here. This is like a sealment. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for this seal thing here. Here we go. And it just drops right back on there. The old one or the new one? I think it's the old one. This is the new one here. What was that? Yeah, dude, dude. Um, they've got some great motorcycles. Some I've never heard of before. Um, one of the old ladies that I work with... Um, Apparently, um, over in Schenectady, New York, they used to make a motorcycle. And she used to work at the motorcycle plant. But yeah, there's that's a lot of great things in there. BMW has some, some good bikes in there, too. I'm hoping you got a chance to see the, um, what's the thing? At the bottom, the bottom of the whole thing, there is a um, restoration shop down there. Where they're basically restoring old motorcycles. That is also something that is amazing to see. Um, when I visited, nobody was doing any restorations, but I just thought it was kind of amazing to see um, people who actively did restorations. Well, I don't know what I'm doing on this part here. This is not moving the way I want it to. I do have a clip right there. Okay, so something's slightly off. Yeah, that is the absolute best experience is to go in there and just just go around the circle and go all the way down. Uh, I love the fact that they have their own little track. And I don't know if you know this, but Moto Forza, um, Moto Forza, the Microsoft game, they used their track to um, to put a, an indie car on for one of their commercials, which was kind of cool. We got one part in. I think we got it this time. It's about an alignment here. We got that side done right. If we can get this side done right, we're going to be good. Okay, I think we got a quick wheel. Yes, we have a quick wheel. And we also have a bubble here. Or is the bubble from the top? The bubble's from the top. Okay, we, we don't care about that bubble. All right. We have a click wheel that is functional. I love that. I'm swinging over here. Um, I raced on the track on front. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, um, they've got some some um, some really old because they don't make F1 cars like that anymore. They really, really do not make cars like that anymore. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to see um, that little collection. And I'm hoping you were looking on the wall and you saw their Christmas tree. Um, it, it looks like um, I call it a Christmas tree setup. My wife calls it a Christmas tree setup. But when you get uh, radio control cars and plastic models. They, they come up those little branches and everything. They've got a car on the wall. Exactly like that, which I thought was kind of cool. It looks like a giant toy on the wall. I thought that was actually amazing to see. Oh, we are not getting these screws in. These screws. Oh. Am I not pushing? not putting it in there? In the right slot. I need to push it down just a little bit more. A little pressure. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna look over in a moment and look at the comments. Yeah, I've been there once um, by myself. I want to go back again um, with a better camera, um, longer battery life, and um, just check it out. And what do we got? Yo, it's at at. We are not doing CSR right now. We're doing something totally different. This is not your normal thing. But what is up? And right now we're we're, we're trying to reassemble um, an iPod. Put some pressure on it. And get in there. Get in there. I think I, I think I I ain't got that. Oh my god, this is so hard here to try. Yeah, you know, they do a lot of events. Um, there's a whole bunch of um, older guys that are there racing. You know, not really racing, racing, but just driving, doing a couple of laps on the track and everything. Because it's, it's actually not a big track. But they do a lot of events there. And I was really surprised. Because I have them on my Facebook thing. Because um, I'm, I'm just a big fan. Just a really big fan of of the whole motorcycle um, thing going on there. And oh, I got him. I got it this time. I got it. I can feel the tension. This was a little... Oh, I had not got it. Oh, my God. So we're not going to get that one there. Is the hole off? I'm not sure. I'm just hoping the fitment on this thing here is good all the way through because if they're not doing this thing to spec, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have an issue. Well, we are having an issue. It's just wobbling all over the place. It's like the alignment is slightly off. But we got one in. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we got it in. We got the second one in. Okay. Ugh, this is a mess. So we got two of them in. I'm checking the thing here. I'm um, going into the turns. Oh, see, I haven't really seen the entire um, track because I'm, I'm just going in to visit the motorcycles and I don't have the energy to keep on going. <clears throat> Drinking my drink. I mean, at one point, I stopped what I was doing and went over to Charlie's, the little restaurant, um, one, of the, one of the chain restaurants around there and got myself something to, to eat. This was years ago. This was like um, 2013 or something like that. That is not magnetic. Mm. So that means I have to go back because there's bound to be more stuff that I haven't um, actually seen before.
Did you see the army motorcycles there? There were a couple of um, army motorcycles. One of them looked like the one from G.I. Joe. <laughs> one of them was real. A real um, uh, motorcycle from World War II or something like that. American. We don't need to show the German ones. I'm not going to go into details on how much um, Alabamians love Germans. He actually um, was teaching German at my high school. This is long before the uh, Mercedes plant got there. But after learning a few things, I realized that, yeah, that why would you not um, put a, a plant there? There's a connection between the two. Just try. Oh. Did I, like, I think I lost that one. So that's me being a little bit on the stupid side. So we, we lost one, guys. Lost one of those screws. I'm trying to hit the center one up here real quick. Because it appears that the center is an issue. Well, the edge was an issue. So I'm going to go for the center first. See if I can balance this thing out. Put a little pressure on it. Hopefully I can get it right there into the hole. What do we have? We got nothing. So we straighten this guy up here. Could this be such a pain? I see why they would just swap these out in the store, ASAP, and like here's a here's your new iPod. Get the heck out the door, um, because trying to repair a single one seems to be an issue here. Seems to be a lot of extra work. I don't know how I ended up on the other side. That's okay. I can rewind the tape later on. So give me a moment. I want to look up in just a moment. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, that. Oh, that one's that. That's in there. That one's in there. I love that. Uh oh. Got to put my password in. Zero 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 zero. Uh. Wake up. Oh, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, did you go to? Yes, that's it. Bo, Bosies, Bosies, Bucky's, Bucky's. It's Bucky's. That's his name, Bucky's. Um, yes. Oh my God, I I love going to Bucky's. Um, whenever I go to Atlanta, because I have to go see my sister and dad. Um, whenever I go there, I I have to make that the pit stop to get all of their stupid crazy things. The big hunk of freaking chocolate um all of the freshly cooked fat fried foods and just just eat it while you're driving da, 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 da. throw it out the window the birds will eat it love that so we have this part already done and now we need to we might be able to do the entire thing here i want to do this widescreen but if we can do this narrow that'd be that'd be fine with me as long as we can download it later here. Um, yeah, Bucky's is probably... I got a t-shirt around... Excuse me. I got a t-shirt around there somewhere. With Alabama on it. Uh, the team Alabama. So yeah, I... I actually love that place myself. Um, it's... It's a good place to just... Have a good pit stop before you... You, you take that two hour drive. And if you know there's no state troopers around, you can do that in about an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> there's a couple of uh, good places. Now, I'm curious. Um, every single time I go there, I do not like driving near Talladega. Because every single time I go there, the road's like... <laughs> and I've actually gotten out of my car and checked my tires to make sure... That I didn't blow a freaking tire driving over there because it's just so bad. The road is just so bumpy. I'm pretty sure you you experienced the exact same thing. It's because when when they're doing any races at Talladega, uh, for the most part, the traffic is back to back, bumper to bumper, 
and it's pretty darn tough on those um on the pavement. There we go. We got that off. And so what was that? Two screws. One screw set is still in there. Just gonna let it dangle. That's okay. And we got one. I think we got one screw over here holding this guy down. That's I think that's gonna be about it. It's one screw and a little bit of adhesive. We'll try to retain the same adhesive. I got some double-sided tape upstairs. I just, I'm too lazy to go up there and get it right now. Oh, come on, come on. Let's get that. Is that a magnet over this? Oh, it's some, some sticky tape. Okay, so I think, I think it's, in the, oh, nope. Something else holding this one down over here. The other device may have had a little bit of damage, because I think I heard that this extra screw um, gets damaged easily. Let me take a look over here. Yep. Take a look here. This one here got damaged, and it's just jammed over there into the corner. Yeah, so that's why we did it. That's so why I was like, huh? What's going on? Okay, so I think... I don't think that's got it. I'm gonna look up at the screen in just one more moment. I think that's got it right there. And I just don't want to damage it. Yep, I think it's just an adhesive holding it together now. So, if we can just lift this up here. Man, that is down tight. That is really tight. Okay, we got that. Oh my god. That is a pain. I'm like, yeah, you can't see any of the other painful stuff that I'm doing over here. It's a miracle I haven't broken this thing yet. Give it a few more minutes. We haven't probably gonna get there. Bucky's is his name. Got it. Uh, did not want to do that. Yeah, this is this is a adhesive that is holding all of this stuff in, and it has been removed. Wowzers. That is some really good tape. Okay. Oh, this is this is not what I expected to do on a day like today. A day like do I have any scissors anywhere? No, I have no scissors, but I do have a crumbin. There we go. We just gotta cut this like right there. Crumbin's a little dull for this kind of material. drink more lemonade more lemonade oh my god so now i gotta put this back in here okay i think i'm not touching the inside of that thing anymore so i think i should be okay i just have to put this in here like so So, I see we're going to have an issue here. I see we're going to have an issue. 
this is gonna get scratched. We don't. We wanted to get scratched in in the future, just not today. Not today. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna get, put some tape over here. So this is a very old desk, which is unfortunate. Cause I've um, been using this thing here for probably a decade, more than a decade. I had this in the apartment. Put it, I love this so much that I put it together twice. It's a good joke there. Love it so much, I put it together twice. Put it together in the apartment. And the only way I can get it out of the apartment was to take it apart. Because it would not fit as a whole um, out of the apartment. This is an L-shaped desk. If you ever have the opportunity to get yourself an L-shaped desk, do it. It is so worth it. Oh no. I don't see the camera anymore. Am I still alive? Am I still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive. So what's going on here? Can't see that image anymore. Give me one moment here. There we go. Oh, there we go. I see myself. Okay. And I'm just gonna put this on the thing over here. There we go. Okay, so this will give it some kind of protection. Ain't gotta be perfect. But we do have to get in here. And we gotta swap out the electronics. I may have to run upstairs. Oh, I got, I brought it down. Woohoo! smart dude. Smart dude. Good. Somebody brought down some double-sided tape from Scotch. Hello, Scotch. Love you, Scotch. Okay. It's written in multiple languages over here. Don't screw this up, Carlton, is what it says. I'm going to just put this piece of tape somewhere else. And from this point on, it's going to be double-sided tape. Okay, so. <sighs> Come over here. And we're going to get the double-sided stuff just a little bit. Okay, I got a little bit more before I actually go double. So let's try to get this guy in here. I am fighting this thing here. I'm absolutely fighting this thing here. I think, 
think that fits. I don't know, that looks ill-fitting to me. Actually, it looks ill fitting to me. Okay, I think we got it. This is a little on the wacky side, but I think we got it. Yep, I think we got it. Yeah, I think we got it. Wow. That was a little bit of a mess. Probably because we still have a screw in here. Oh my god, this is... It's a horrible game plan. Horrible, horrible, horrible game plan. Is it even going into the hole? I think not. I think it is. Not 100% sure. Ah, now that's flopping over. This is such a bad idea. This is like one of the worst ideas I've ever thought of. I'm never going to do this again. I will pay somebody to do this crap. My coworkers was like, oh, Colson, you know, you should, um, you make too much to, to do your own oil change. And I get it. I get it. I make more than $5 an hour. So I should not do my own oil change. I want to say that hole is open and ready. I want to say it is. I actually have a freaking hair in there. Oh, thanks for sharing my DNA over here. Um, da -da 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 -da. I don't think anybody's actually watching it right now. Yeah, like, what's, what's the thing say? Oh. Two people. Oh, two people. Okay, yeah, that's plus one. Okay. This is, this is not the best idea. This is a horrible idea. We're, we're too, we're in too deep to not continue. Besides, I wouldn't sit around here and watch this crap either. Just some old dude messing around with old technology. It's kind of boring. There's nothing exciting going on over here. Nothing at all. I believe putting a watch together is more exciting than what I'm doing right now. Oh, we got it. We got it. I feel the tension. Yeehaw. Okay, so the next thing is going to be this guy. Putting this guy in its proper place. Oh, wow. It kind of it sits above. Over here, it sits on the tray. Ugh. Now I see what that guy was talking about. <sighs> oh, no. It floats over here, too. I think it just floats a little bit deeper. Okay, I got you. So give me one moment here. There is a piece that we have to take out. This bottom portion, portion here that needs to be removed. I think this is a better, in a better condition. Sorry if I'm skewing stuff from you. Let's see, we'll get it over there. And 
And we just kind of prick that off. Yep. And we got that off. Screw still in there. And we're just gonna try to transfer this to the bottom down here. We're just gonna disregard the dangling parts over here. Just completely disregard that. Ah, I knew it. Couldn't get it in there properly. There we go. Before we do those two, we're gonna try to clean this up a little bit. I got some alcohol down there somewhere. Is it over there? Where is it? Oh, I see it. We got some alcohol and I actually grabbed this from the wife. She's like, who's messing with my wooden Q-tips? I am messing with your wooden Q-tips. Okay, so we got that on there. It doesn't look like it's clean or anything, but I'm, I'm telling you it actually is. It's not super dirty. So it shouldn't be that, that messy. I think it just kind of sits on top of that, just like that. That's the way it does it. It's called to know what he's doing, of course not. I think that is the way it just kind of sits in there. What's the other one? I got another one around there somewhere. Body, body. Where's the backs? Where's the backs? That one's open. What's the other back? Ah, there it is right there. So it goes. Okay, it's just like. Yeah, you got it. You got it. It looks like the Thundercats. Um, layer lower and then high and then high again. Oh my god, these things are smaller than the other ones were. These screws are so tiny. I'm completely surprised that I can even find a hole to put these guys in. Get out of the way, man. I'm not helping myself by starting one thing and then going to the next. That's the reason why I told my boss, I am not here to think. I'm here to do work to help the group. I am not here to think. I am not a thinker. My wife tells me I'm not a thinker either. But I'm good with my hands. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we got we got words over here. Um I've been wanting to get to um to get an iPod. For the, and I don't see anything out there. Yeah, this, look, I've got a few of them now. Uh, it is absolutely a pure addiction. So so do watch yourself when you buy one. Um, it is addictive as crap. Um, I got my hands on a, on a 5.5 generation. That's what I'm working on right now. I am um, moving the back. I'm moving the back to... Um, Holy moly, is that supposed to float in there? 
and then move forward. Oh my God. Why are you guys doing this to me? That is so weird. So it's, it's like it kind of, it doesn't, it's not flush to the body. Oh my God. So it floats there and clamps under. That is so weird. There's a good reason why I kind of waited for this in here for the last thing. This is, yeah, it's gonna, so it will not float. It's gonna kind of like flop and lock into place. They gave more room to the back to get that thing in. And this is a great place to screw this whole thing up. It's a great place to mess this up, actually. But somehow this is supposed to come together because I think it goes under. No way it's just gonna sit right there. It has to go under. I might have to. That is really weird. It's going to be like wonky in there. Well, not that wonky. It's amazing how we just use gravity just to drop that crap in there. And it just works um, like 99% of the time. It just freaking flops right into place. There you go. Just don't do it too tight. No, it doesn't flop under. It's supposed to sit right there on top and it's doing it. Oh my God, it's doing it. Yeah, see it? You can't. Can you see that? This actually is floating on there. That is That is weird. If you think that I'm doing this here and making it look easy, it's not. This is um, um, hours of me pretending to be an expert while watching YouTube videos on how to do this here. And this is the part I didn't pay too much attention to because I said to myself, yeah, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. So you can't see everything here. I got it. Got it in the hole. This is that's what it's really all about. Getting it in the hole. God, I got it without breaking it, I think. I think we got the whole thing in without breaking it. Oh, my God. That is that is a freaking miracle right there. That's a freaking miracle. Okay. So, we have the new black face. We have the gold back. And what we need to do now is merge these two guys together. Um, do we want to do that right now or not? 
just want to make sure this actually fits in the hole. Give me one moment here. Um, do I have a blue pack down here? Yeah, blue pack. Got some headphones in here. Ain't got no headphones in here. Nope. Not a, not a, uh, oh, cheapos. No. Motorola. <sighs> we got nothing from the airplane. Ah, we got one. Okay, so we got something here. You just want to plug it in. Oh, that fits perfectly. Yep. That that is absolutely perfect. Oh my God, that is perfect. Okay, so we're good there. <sighs> Satisfaction guaranteed. Uh, what's the next step? This is nerve wracking. Brain broken. Do I have to put my password in again? Nope, we're good. And I'm over here looking at myself, and so I don't need the scotch tape anymore. <sighs> Hey, nothing excited about what's going on here. Nothing at all. I'm trying to see how many people are actually on here. I'm not sure. But it's late at night. Who cares? So, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, this is for Daniel. My advice save yourself the stress the time and and the effort and just buy one from elite obsolete electronics because just doing that will save you so much flipping time um like an insane amount of time this is the battery this is actually an extended battery and it's going to be dropping the back over here So before we do that actual transformation and before we put this in the back, um, we just want to make sure that this thing functions properly. Which means we need to put it back on. So what does this do? It just kind of like clamps on there. Yep, and it clamps down. Not what I was expecting to do tonight. This is not what I was expecting to do tonight. Since we're in a neighborhood and you're in a neighborhood too, we will all get together. We're gonna do this stuff together. <gasps> I think I got it. Got it in there. Just clamp it down. Yahoo. Look at that. <sighs> it's clamped down. We're good. Everything is working perfectly right now. So, we will not do absolutely everything because there is one part that we need to hold back on just a little bit before we do anything. And that's going to be, where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Where are you? There's so much stuff on the desk. Ah, there he is right there. Before I put this in here, I need to make sure that this thing actually still functions properly, which means I got to connect it to the hard drive <sighs> one last time. I think it will circle up. That's how this thing is supposed to work. Circle up. So 
which means we can put it together two more times without breaking the ribbon. We're going to be fine. Without breaking the ribbon and also without breaking this black bar on the back. This flipper. We don't want to break that either. <sighs> okay. So we got that. And we just need this little guy here. Make sure we get this back into the light. Slip you up just a little bit. Come on. Don't break on me. Don't break on me yet. Don't break on me yet. That's not a break. That's not a break. Holy F. That is not a break. It straight up lifted. It lifted straight the F up. Are you effing kidding me? Was that a break? Was that a logic board break? I don't think it was a break. Sure as heck wasn't good. Hold on. Come back. It lifted straight up. Like it released. I don't know. I think we just screwed this whole thing up. I can see teeth. How bad is this? No, as this goes straight down. This goes straight down, I'm telling you, it goes straight down. Well, I may have to end it right there. Because if I can't get it back on here, that means that I actually did break it. And we're doing so great. We're doing so freaking great. This is a 20 year old device, by the way. It just lifted straight up. Like it had no more energy. I might go, go into the car real quick and cry about this here. It's the kind of stuff people cry about, man. Yeah, I... I was so happy. Until now. <gasps> And you don't understand, I literally just bought, um, I'm not crying, I'm not actually not crying. I literally just paid like, um, 10 bucks or five bucks or something like that for a replacement one of these here, which I have over there. Oh my God. And it looks like it just came straight up. I can't recall whether those are supposed to be pronged down or soldered down. 
and I think it's supposed to be soldered down. And if that's the case, that would explain why it was doing low battery sometimes. It was in the process of dying. Oh, man. I just want you to go back down. That's not it. So that concludes our um, activities for the day. As careful as I was. Oh, wait. Holy moly. As careful as I was, I think I got it back on there. But I think this is, I don't think it's supposed to be that loosey-goosey. So when I get this in here, this is going to stay in here. There we go. Uh, who's crying now? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Um No CS no, I'm sorry, no CSR tonight. How many iPods do you have? Um I kind of forgot count i think it's like five um two one is like this one here this one is mine well actually this is the one that belongs to my wife so i have two of these here one for me one for her it's got some monogram stuff on the back to the love of my life so that's two i've got jc which is going to be number four it is number three it is a um a fourth gen i have this one here which is a 5.5 and we also have this one here, which is a five. We're not sure exactly what number it is. So I have at least five iPods that I'm messing around with. Um, at the end, when all this is done, I will have two, three that are functional. Three that are functional. One will be mine. Let's see what happens. Even if it says low battery, uh, uh, no, nah, that won't be acceptable either. So we got the power thing going on and it is not connecting to the hard drive. And I think it's gonna be okay for now. It's not perfect for sure, but I think it's something that's doable. We have to carefully open this guy up like so and carefully do like an origami thing and open this oh that's going to dance around on the inside there that is going to dance around on the inside there so we're just going to pull this here keep the whole thing down just kind of yank it there we, go. we did not get a low battery I like that I like that idea I like that fact that's my wife sneezing. And where's this flipper? Which way does this flipper go? Flipper goes back. Gotcha. You can yank this here. So we are at a point where we can actually stop. <sighs> this has been probably one of the most stressful um, things I've had to deal with in a very 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 long time and in preparation for this here, i'm going to go ahead and put this guy on here this is not your normal eye flash according to what the experts say the eye flash is the best way to go so that's the reason why we chose this model here 
but this is I'm doing something very very stupid. I am um, I'm using a M.2 which is um an SSD card. Not an SD card, but an SSD card. It's a solid state memory card, 256 gigabytes. Um, this is insanity. If it works properly, um, I am told not to go beyond two hours because it will get super hot. I'm just trying to make sure this is solidly in there. There we go, as tight as possible. And <sighs> where's my SSD? Man, this is like, this is maddening. I make sure that this thing is turned off. Yeah, it is on hold. I like that. Um, where is my SSD? Where's my sad? Ah, here it is. And those gold bars here are to make sure that it doesn't um, make sure that it does absorb some heat because this is the SSD they want to end up putting in there. I think it goes this way. And they tell you when you do put this guy in, is that the way it goes? No, nope, it goes the other way. Um, you make sure you put it in at an angle like so. That's the way it's going to go. And you are required to use thermal paste on top of that. They want you to put a whole bunch of thermal paste on top of this um, to keep it from overheating. Because it will overheat. This is, this is like not the smartest thing in the world. I don't recommend doing this here. I think this is a horrible idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. And that's where we're going to... Um, we're going to lay on that that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to lay on that and i have the idea that i actually did break this here just one little part and i'm hoping that whew, i'm hoping that um i don't have to get another logic board because that would be the result i would have to replace the logic board and i don't feel like doing that right now this has been a very long um, session. If anybody is still out there, thank you for hanging out for this long. I am surprised that we made it this far. Um, with damaging as little as possible. So all I got to do now is get this here and basically um, tape it and put it together. And I was told to put some some tape some gunk or something under this here to keep the electronics from moving around oh boy this is an adventure this has been an adventure hoping it all works out tomorrow <sighs> good night enjoy where's that stop button right there <sighs>